Hey, it's Sharon Sheldon here, and I want to give you a quick view inside Engagematic, which is this awesome new plugin I just discovered that lets you put hotspots on your images. Now, a hotspot is somewhere where you could hover over some spot in an image and something will pop up. So you can see in this image here, I've got a little something and I've already created a pop-up, but I'm gonna show you uh, from scratch just taking an image and using it. So I already uploaded and installed the plugin. You do it the usual way. You know, you take the zip file, you upload it. I'm not gonna go through that. Um, you can always ask me if you're not sure how to do that. So I'm gonna go into media, add new, and then I'm gonna take a file that I actually just got from uh, Nicole Dean and Melissa Ingold's new product on um, sticky social media. I'll give you the link to it. There were tons and tons of images in there that you could use. So I'm gonna drag that over, just one of them, and put this in here. And it's gonna load up, and it's crunching. And then I'm gonna stick, uh, click edit and then it should open up the editing window. There it is. Now, what I can do is click anywhere on here and there's some, some um, instructions here. It says click anywhere on image to add engage Matic. So let's say I click here on the yellow, right? And instantly this box pops up and I can put something in. For instance, I can say I picked up this image um, at Coach Glue from their, uh, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's called Sticky Social Media uh, Training Program, right? And I can say click here to get a whole load of, a whole load of your own. So how's that? <laughs> Not great sales copy, but and then I can make this clickable. I can add a link. So I'm going to say click here. I'm going to make it bold and you can do all this sort of thing. I'll add a link to that, my affiliate link, of course, um, which you would want to do, of course. So it's a great affiliate marketing tool if you had products and other things like that that you wanted to um, promote. For instance, an image of different products. And then you can show people where to get them. So I think my... Uh, I think that's my affiliate link. We can always test it. All right, so that's done. And then I just click, click on Submit, and it should show up in a second. And there's the little hotspot. And see, it'll pop up. And that's what it's going to look like when you insert it in a post as well. And if I put click here, it will go over to their site where you could buy this yourself. Um, but that's the social media course, not the plugin. Now, if I want to customize this little thing because I want it to um, stand out more, I would go up to here where it says choose an engage Matic. I choose that they, they go by numbers like I've put a few in already. So this would be number six. They you can't really tell that easily, but it goes in order of when um, how many you've already put in in different images in Engagematic. So I picked that one and then you go over on the right here and you'll see there's a whole choice of a whole bunch of different markers including an arrow. So I could have another arrow or I could pick just another marker and it'll give you a little preview of different markers that you could do. So let's just pick one um, that might stand out a bit. Um, without playing around with this too much because you can get a little carried away. You have a choice of different arrows over here as well. I'm just gonna leave that one. You can also do uh, border colors and background colors for the box itself. I'll just leave that. And I press uh, save and it says updated successfully. So I click okay, All right? And now there it is, hover over it. Oh, I left the background dark. Let's just fix that. So I have to pick the engage Matic again, go back here, and um, oh, the border background color does say white. I guess you could change it as well, like I could make it a pale yellow, I think. Um, you just have to work on this slider, but uh, I don't want to play with that, so let's just cancel that. Well, actually, let's see what happens. Isn't this nice when you do things live and you get to see what it really looks like when someone's playing with it? All right, I saved it, and now, oh, look at that. I got a nice yellow box with a black border. That's kind of nice. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that, and now we're gonna put it into a post. And the way you do that is it will give you this Engagematic short code at the top of the image. So I'm gonna copy that short code with the brackets. And I've done this once already, so 
I'm going to go Control C. I mean, I've done this with another image, so this should work. Um, everything should be saved. So I'm going to go over to a post that I already started here where I'm going to insert this video as well. And I'll put that down where I actually typed in already. Here are the ones I created in my video. <laughs> so I'm going to put one in here. Control V. And there is my ID. And now I'm going to save the draft and preview it so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so let's preview the post. And this is the one I, I did a test on, which has the link to the Engagematic. So you'll see that if, uh, if you're looking at this post. And then here's the image I just inserted, nice and big. Wow, she does nice ones over there. Um, with that little clickable thing as well. Whoops, hover. Hmm, you kind of, you have to keep your, your finger on there. Okay, so sometimes it, that's the only thing with the, when you hover over things, sometimes you have to, it's like with a drop down menu, you have to catch it. But there it is, and, on, and then people can look at that and click on it. So it creates some more engagement. And you can also do things like sending people to videos or actually watching a video on the site. I have to show you that. That's really cool, too. Uh, let me go back, because I did create one like this already. So I'm going to um, put that in as well. I'll say here's one where I ins uh, inserted a link to a video. All right, and then we're going to go back and find the code for that I'll go back to my media library so I'll just go into my library because I know I did this already and I had one here I'm gonna go into edit so that I can find the code and then I already have the, I, because I already put the link in you can see I hover over and there's actually a video that pops up because I actually put the uh, the URL of the, uh, not, not the URL, the embed code from YouTube into the HTML part of, um, of Engagematic. So when you get that pop-up box to add a, a, some sort of hotspot, you have to put the embed code. Let me try and do that while I'm here anyway so you don't get confused. So here you'll get, I can add a second hotspot if I wanted. So here's one where if I were going to put a video in, I do this HTML, show hide HTML, click that, and then you'd go over to YouTube, and when you go to share, you get the choice of a URL, sharing a URL, or getting the embed code. So you'd want to get the embed code, and I picked the one that's like 640 wide or something so that it, it's actually visual. You know, you can see it. I think there's a demo actually on the sales page for this, but I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to add that. I'm just going to take the short code here again and copy that and head back over to my post and put that in and I'm going to save the draft again and da, 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 da. <clears throat> and now let's preview it again so you can see how the video looks like and then I'll show you just one more after this where you can put an opt-in box in which is really great too so there's that one and here's the video so there, I can hover over it. I've got to move up the page a bit to see it. But I hover over it, and then I could just click right on that video and start playing it right there on my page. And this is another video I did over on my site on how to install Google Fonts and use them on your computer. But then I can be done with that. Let me just show you this one last one. I know this video is taking a really long time. Sorry about that. Um, but this one's very cool, too. And I'm going to say, and finally, Here's one with an opt-in opt -in form. And so I'm going to go back over to my media library. And I did one of these already where I took a screenshot of my opt-in form just because I needed an image. It could be anything you use. And I added the opt-in code. And I'll show you how I did that once it opens up. So here's the image that I used, and I already put the code in, but what you're going to do, so I'll show you like I did before, I'll click on something, and what you'll do is you'll again go into HTML, and you'll take that little piece of JavaScript. It doesn't have to be the full HTML form. It can just be the script, uh, and put that in there for your opt-in form and then it'll show up, which is great because then if you do change anything on the form, it'll automatically change 
here on your hotspot as well, whereas if you put the whole HTML form in there, you have to update it each time. So let me take this as well and put that over on the page so we can see how that looks like, what that looks like. Um, let's go back over here, paste that in. We'll save it, and then I will finish up this very long video and give you the link if you want to go get this. So let's take a look. Preview the post, and we'll scroll down once it's loaded. There's the first one that had just a link. There's the second one that showed a video. And now this third one, don't miss a single tip, look, pops up my uh, form. It has a little gray background that's just from the, um, from you know whatever color you set in Engagematic, I could have set that as white. And then people could just put in their name and email and sign up right there, which I think is amazing. So take a look. I think it makes your images a lot more fun, engaging. It's something different that not everyone else is doing. It's a way to give people information like where to go if you are doing a lot of affiliate marketing. That's great. And let me know what you think. Have fun.